Hello, I'm Sim, a finance expert and a self-proclaimed foodie and today I'm here to share with you of how I use Yahoo Finance to research my stocks and decide if it's worth the investment. For today's analysis, we'll be analyzing the stock Supermicro. As you can see here in the summary tab, you can get the information at the previous close price, the open price, the bid, the ask, the days range, the 52 range, the volume, the average volume, market cap, several other data points here as well. So we'll just start with understanding what all these terms are to begin with. So open price is the stock price at which it opens on the trading day. Close price is the stock price at which it closes on the previous day. Bid price is the highest price a buyer will pay to buy a specific number of shares at any given time. Ask price is the lowest price at which a seller will sell the stock. The bid price will always be lower than the ask price else sales of the stock won't be possible. Beta is how volatile the stock is in comparison to the market. By definition, the market is the S&P 500 index, which has a beta of 1. As you can see here, Supermicro has a beta of 1.29, which means it's slightly more volatile compared to the market. P ratio is the current share price divided by 4 quarters earnings per share. It basically indicates how expensive a company is in relation to its earnings. Value investors usually look for free cash flow in comparison to price to earnings and usually compare the free cash flow to previous quarters and other stocks in the industry as well. EPS is earnings per share and usually we compare it to previous quarters and other companies and stocks in the industry as well. Now let's move over to the charts tab. This is how you can do an analysis of the historical price, earnings and various other indicators as well. You can also use the comparison tab to compare it to its competitors. I mainly use Yahoo Finance for the summary, statistics and financials tab. In the statistics tab, we can see the market cap which is the current trading price versus the total number of stocks that the company has. The enterprise value which is the total value of the company. It's a better metric compared to the market cap which is the equity value which includes the net debt, the preferred equity and any minority interest as well. Then there's a trailing PE ratio, forward PE ratio. A trailing PE ratio means that it's based on the 12 months historical earnings rate and forward PE rate means it's based on the forecasted earnings rate. The PEG ratio or the price to earnings to growth ratio is a valuation metric for determining relative trade-off between the price of a stock, the earnings generated per share and the company's expected growth. This is something we look at in early stage startups or companies that aren't profitable yet. Then there's price to sales, price to book. We usually look at price to book for a lot of financial companies. Another metric I look at is profit margin, the return on assets and the return on equity as well. In terms of the income statement, we should look at revenue per share, the quarterly revenue growth as well, the EBITDA, I usually check it to see if it's an EBITDA positive or EBITDA negative company. And also if you're looking at some more mature companies that do give out dividends, then we should look at the dividends and split section as well. Then I use the financial tab to go through their income statement, balance sheet and cash flow analysis as well. This is where you find the free cash flow. You, usually we find the free cash flow using a formula called operating cash flow minus capex which you will find in the investing cash flow section but Yahoo Finance makes it a lot easier and does the calculation for you. If you found this helpful make sure you tap the subscribe button. Bye!